I like writing love stories. Okay, that I'm clear about. Now the thing is how to make them interesting and fun and different and so on. Um, I like the setting. I think it's. Um, I don't like books. I don't like writing books unless I feel I have something to say. You know, and in this book I do have something to say. And this book is making a case about um, uh, it's okay to be naive, it's okay to be idealistic, it's okay to love your country and to want to do something for it while you're in politics. You know, so that's really the point the book is making. Of course, it's making it in a very light-hearted, fun, um, sensual kind of way, rather than going all preachy and moralistic. The thing is that if you just look at it, there's so much scope for human politics and no one sees it, you know, I mean, sometimes it's just something a little removed from the circus, you look at it and say, this is insane, <laughs> this can't be happening, you know, someone write this down, there's some really funny things that happen. So just observing that, I thought, you know, someone has to look at it this way, because it's very cliched the way um, politics is portrayed in the media, you know, I mean, I guess it's kind of the way the underworld is portrayed and so on, it's a very clichetic representation. So I didn't want to give it, you know, this kind of a take, the way I've seen it. Well, you do get a bit of, um, you know, like an insider's perspective, you know, and uh, uh, that really helps because you, you are privy to stuff that people don't see from the outside. And I think that actually gives you a lot of scope for, for the humor, for the introspection that you don't really get from the outside. Advertising teaches you discipline. It teaches you to be very spare with your words. It teaches you not to like get people get bored. You know, those are adver things you learn in advertising. You also learn uh, how to be completely thick-skinned, you know, and Besharam about feedback. Because in advertising, every day you'll get one juta, you'll go there say, what is this bad script, take it away, do it again, you know. So, you don't, you're not like sensitive anymore because you've like been beaten up so badly that you can take it. The thing is that with Zoya, I had nothing to lose, you know, I mean, there the big triumph was getting a book published, you know. Oh, you're a published author, it was that. This time it's more about you feel, Acha, mera bhi thoda sa standing ho gaya hai. <laughs> you know, I shouldn't lose it and I shouldn't disappoint people and it should be better. So I'm a little more stressed than I was before. Yeah.